Hello again. I'm going to make another attempt at uh, doing the carbon dioxide sequestration. I'm going to use a soda bottle. Uh, it's a little more flexible. So I'm going to put the canister in here. Fill it up with carbon dioxide. And as I said before, if you have a tank, you have the luxury of a tank of carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide is pretty heavy gas, so it should sink to the bottom and push out all the air. And again, it's kind of cold. The vaporization process of Liquid carbon dioxide is an exothermic reaction, endothermic reaction. <coughs> now I have uh, about 200 milliliters of water with five grams, one teaspoon full of lye, which is sodium hydroxide, which I got at a hardware store. Let's carefully add the 250 milliliters of lye. Put the cap on nice and tight. and tight. And I think this is going to be much more dramatic. Wow. Look, auto doesn't work as well as over this. It's, it's making a lot of crackling sound. And as the carbon dioxide gets changed from gaseous carbon dioxide to sodium bicarbonate when it reacts with the sodium hydroxide. But this is the way to do it. Um, look at that. Beautiful. I'm glad I thought of doing it this way. Now, the solution is, is quite warm. So the reaction of the gaseous carbon dioxide with the liquid sodium hydroxide solution is exothermic. It, it, it was a little warm, the liquid was a little warm to begin with because when you put sodium hydroxide in water, it releases heat. It's an exothermic process. It might be more dramatic if you waited for the sodium hydroxide solution to cool before adding it. So we'll uh, have another video to talk about the chemistry of the various reactions. But <laughs> hearing that sound will have a great impression on students. Uh, and, and if you're a student, I hope you appreciate the uh, dramatic nature of this process. Pulling carbon dioxide out of the air using sodium hydroxide. Not a practical thing to solve our global warming problems, but uh, it illustrates the principle in any case. This is the one I did earlier with the book carton. The nice thing about this, if you're using this to produce carbon dioxide using sodium bicarbonate and, and vinegar, you could see the bubbles, you'd be able to see everything in the reaction. Okay, so that's uh, the sequestration of carbon dioxide using sodium hydroxide and the hydroxide ion reacts with the carbon dioxide to produce bicarbonate ion HCO3 minus and so the, the final solution if there isn't an excess of sodium hydroxide the final solution is the sodium bicarbonate solution when you empty this I'd be very careful because there, there might probably was a little bit of an excess of the sodium hydroxide. 
Okay, I thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. If you use it in your classes, if you're a teacher, and I'll see you next time.